Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Probability functions in reliability. To understand probability density function and probability distributions, let us look at some histograms. Consider that we have collected data of time to failure of a certain component, say a clutch cable of a motorcycle. And we plot the histogram of this data of failures using nine bins or class intervals. It may look like this. Same data with 35 bins will look like this. And if we reduce further the bin size and analyze the data with a histogram with 71 bins, it may look like this. If we go on reducing the bin size further to a very small value, say infinitesimally small value, it will look like a continuous curve. This curve will be for the sample size used in the data collection. If we scale it down for single item or single part, we can consider this as a probability density function PDF. Let us now understand the mathematics of PDF. So the probability function with infinitesimally small bin size may look like this. So on the x-axis, let us say we have time t and y-axis we will call function of time t which is the probability density function and it may look like this or it may have a different shape also. If this is the probability density function, then probability of failure during time t to t plus delta t will be given by a slice. This is time t and let us say we add delta t to this. So this interval is delta t. And the area between this interval we can say will be probability of failure during this interval which I am showing with a red color hatching. And this area we can calculate which will be the probability of failure during that interval will be equal to integral ft dt but from start time t to t plus delta t. We can define another function capital F of t which will be considered as cumulative failure function, capital F of t. So if we want to define this function, let us say again that this is the PDF and at any time t, the area to the left is the probability of failure from time 0 to time t and this area we can call it as cumulative probability function capital F of t. We can easily visualize that this capital F of t which is a cumulative failure function will equal so I will say f of t is equal to integral 0 to time t f of t dt. Consequently, we can easily say that the probability density function f of t is equal to derivative of the cumulative function that is df of t upon dt. Obviously, the right side area of the probability density function, which I am showing with green color, will be 
1 minus f of t. So, this area will be equal to 1 minus f of t because the total area under the curve is 1. And this green area will be equal to therefore reliability at time t. So, we can say that probability of failure till time t f of t plus probability of survival at time t which is the reliability equals 1 as these are mutually exclusive events. That means either the component has failed or it has survived. Mutually exclusive events. Let us summarize once again. Let us say that this is the probability density function f of t. So, till time t if we take the area to the left is equal to f of t probability of failure till time t. This is the time t. So, the red area left side is the probability of failure and the right side is the reliability at time t which I am showing with a green color and they are mutually exclusive events. Continuing with the discussion, we can say that reliability at time t is equal to 1 minus probability of failure till time t. Now, the probability density function f of t is equal to derivative of the cumulative failure function that is d f of t dt and we can say that therefore this will be equal to d of 1 minus reliability at time t dt and since derivative of 1 is 0 we can say that this is equal to minus dr by dt. So, we get a relationship that the probability density function equals minus dr by dt. This is an important relationship which we will use later. We have seen the mathematics of probability density function, cumulative failure function and reliability functions. Let us now understand the hazard rate function lambda t. Instantaneous hazard rate function is conditional probability of failure per unit time between time t and t plus delta t given that the item has survived till time t. Instantaneous hazard rate or hazard function lambda t is given by the equation f of t upon r of t where f of t is the probability density function and r of t is the reliability function both at time t. Thus, instantaneous hazard rate can be considered as how fast the component will fail as a proportion of surviving components. Let us now see how this function is derived mathematically. Now let us see the mathematics of the hazard function. The x axis is time t and the probability density function could be anything like this. Now let us say that probability of failure till time t will be given by, so this is time t and the probability of failure till time t will be given by the left side area which is f of t which I will show with the red color. So the red color hashed area is the probability of failure till time t. Now we add delta t to the time. So we will say okay delta t is added to time t. So we will say this is t plus delta t. Now the additional area we can easily see that it will be given by the slice but the cumulative failure function will be given by the left side area at this time t plus delta t which I will show with another color let us say I will use another color. 
so let us say I use a light blue color so that will be given by and I will just uh, mark that with a other direction hatching so this blue hatched area is probability of failure till time t plus delta t therefore the probability of failure during the interval t to t plus delta t will be given by the slice we have seen this before i am showing once again and if we write an equation this area probability of failure during the interval will be given by f of t plus delta t minus f of t but if we want per unit time probability of failure per unit time we just divide this by delta t so this equation f of t plus uh, delta t minus f of t upon delta t gives a probability of failure during the interval t plus delta t but it is per unit time as per the definition of hazard function the hazard function lambda t is equal to probability of failure per unit time during the interval t to t plus delta t given that the item has survived till time t so since this is a conditional probability we divide by the reliability at time t but this function lambda t if we want an instantaneous value we will have to consider that the delta t is very small therefore we have to take a limit of this function this function this equation as delta t tends to 0 so lambda t will be equal to so we will take a limit limit of this equation f of t plus delta t minus f of t upon delta t into 1 upon r of t as delta t tends to 0 observe that this limit as delta t tends to 0 is actually derivative of the cumulative function so we can write this as df by dt upon r of t obviously this is probability density function so we can write this as f of t upon r of t this equation can also be written as minus dr by dt into 1 upon r of t this is because reliability at time t is equal to 1 minus f of t and therefore df by dt will be equal to minus dr by dt so this is an important relationship for the hazard function lambda t let us now see an important relationship between the hazard rate function and the reliability function we already know that the instantaneous hazard rate lambda t equals minus dr by dt into 1 upon reliability at time t therefore lambda t dt will be equal to minus dr of t upon reliability at time t r of t integrating both sides we can say that integral of lambda t dt equals integral of minus dr of t upon r of t the limits of left side are from 0 to time t while as the limits of right side are from 1 to r of t because reliability at time is equal to 0 is equal to 1 in calculus it is known that when numerator is derivative of the denominator the solution is ln of the denominator this means that integral dx upon x equals ln of x with this information we can say that integral lambda t dt is equal to minus ln r of t therefore minus integral lambda t dt is equal to ln of r of t therefore reliability at time t is equal to e to the power minus 0 to time t lambda t dt this is the important relationship between the hazard rate function and the reliability function let us now see an application example to understand the relationship between hazard function and reliability function a component failure data shows that the hazard rate function 
is given by lambda t is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 6 t, where t is in hours. What is its B02 life? Note that B02 life corresponds to 2% failures, which corresponds to reliability of 0.98. To solve this problem, let us remember the function, reliability function, which equals e to the power minus 0 to time t lambda t dt. This is the relationship between reliability and hazard functions. We have seen this before. Now reliability, the left side is 0.98 and the lambda t is given as 5 into 10 raised to minus 60. So we substitute these in this equation. Note that minus 5 into 10 raised to minus 6 part is a constant and comes out of the integral and we solve 0 to time t, t dt integral, which will be obviously t square by 2. And it will be, the limits will be 0 to t. So it will be again t square by 2 only. Taking logarithms, minus ln 0.98 is equal to 2.5 into 10 raise to minus 6 t square. Solving this, we can see that t is equal to square root of minus ln 0.98 upon 0 0.5025, which means that the time t is equal to 89.9 or approximately 90 hours. So the B02 life from this information can be estimated as 90 hours. Let us do a quick recap of the reliability functions. Cumulative failure rate f of t, capital F of t, is equal to 1 minus reliability at time t, which equals integral 0 to time t f of t dt where small f of t is the probability density function. And therefore, the probability density function will be equal to derivative of the cumulative function d f of t dt. Since f of t is 1 minus r of t, small f of t will then be equal to minus dr by dt. This figure explains to some extent these functions. Looking at the hazard rate function, which equals small f of t that is pdf probability density function upon reliability function and the reliability at time t equals e to the power minus 0 to time t lambda t dt. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on reliability engineering, Six Sigma and statistical quality control. Thank you.